Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So today is sketchbook tour day. So we are going to be looking at the sketchbook um, in particular. I'm going to talk a little bit about the sketchbook itself first because I know there's a lot of questions and then we'll get right into the actual tour and contents of this sketchbook. So um, this is technically a notebook. If you visit Vograce's page, you can see that they make some, I think it's called PU Leather or Leatherette sketchbooks. This is the A5 size and this is my own design that I used um, while working with Vograce. I've made several different designs, but yeah, just to keep in mind, this is a hardcover notebook and it does have more like notebook paper, but it is blank paper. So let's get into the actual book. Like I said, it is A5 size and I believe 192 pages, but for my sake, it's only 190 pages and we'll get into that in a little bit. So let's take a look at the inside cover. The sketchbook tour is going to have a lot of either my OCs, 17 fan art, just a little bit, and then majority of it's going to be Genshin and VTuber related for the most part, and there's a little bit of Ensemble Stars fan art. Also, I know my webcam doesn't do a lot of my traditional art or traditional sketches a lot of justice because I do work a little bit lighter sometimes. Um, I do apologize about that. Once I get my DSLR working again, maybe um, future sketchbook tours will be filmed with that. For any of the sketches that I personally really like, I'll make sure to include some closer up b-roll so you guys can get a closer look at the different texture or the actual medium that I'm using. So just to start off, I like to usually paint the inside cover. It usually has a little bit of this more manila tag kind of paper in the inside. I have the start date, which is April 2nd, 2022 to November 20th, 2022. So it has taken me about eight to nine months to finish this entire sketchbook, uh, which is a little bit longer than what I usually use. So here is my OC Akemi, kind of on blue clouds, a little bit more of like a sky theme along with my OC Akemi. This is done in gouache. Here I have just little stickers. So I have my Red and Shogun sticker right here and then two 17 stickers from I think some previous albums and just some scribbles and notes about how I wanted to do the inside cover. On this side, I have a little bit of a watercolor sketch with my OC Akemi again, just to get used to him. Here we have some watercolor flowers and then a sketch of Yanfei done in graphite and a little Yanfei sticker at the bottom. I have some album sketches. So here we just have graphite sketches with a little bit of uh, water-based marker for the text and any of the color. Moving on, we have some pencil crayon sketches right here or like little drawings. So I did some uh, Genshin plants or things that you can find on the Genshin overworld and then the little one of Venti, the illustration I'm writing for for the, the five, I think it's the five Kasan, I think. So yeah, this is Venti. You have the Arataki gang. I apologize for the glare. I was trying to find a better day to record this, but it's been cloudy for the last few days, so it's been hard for me to get natural lighting. So we have the Arataki gang down in graphite, and the glare is coming from the amount of graphite on the page itself. Kazuha sketches just for needle felting, as well as him done with watercolor and a ballpoint pen, which I think this one looks really cute. I didn't do too much watercolor like this in here. I kind of wish I did. And then some miscellaneous stickers. Um, 17 Darling Flowers. So we have Chamomile and Marigold. And then right here we have, I think, just Doodles of June done with water-based markers and pencil. Um, these were sketches that I was going to do for Anna Alouette because I wanted to plan an illustration for her, but I was a bit... I was kind of struggling a little bit with what I wanted to do. I actually don't know what these were, but all of these were kind of just like pose studies that I wanted to do for a illustration. Here's my OC Sato done with watercolor, ballpoint pen, and graphite. I still really like this one. This one's really cute. Wow. Okay, so on this page, I was testing out some pastel um, oil pastels yes pastel colored oil pastels um, and I was trying to draw a flower but I was not able to get the correct values because the color range was a little bit more limited so yeah and I have this little piece of paper just to prevent it from smudging from future uh, doodles and stuff another doodle of my OC Sato with pencil crayon and ballpoint pen uh, we have Mista and Alban 
and then we have Masaki and Akemi. So these two are VTubers and these two are my OCs. So I'm gonna bleed through because of the alcohol marker. So I have some pen doodles here, um, a giant sticker, a post-it note, and then my OC Koji and Hansuke. Done with alcohol markers again. So I have another up, like cover-up page, post-it notes for planning for a zine, and then some stickers that were a little bit defected, um, just to fill up the space. Same with here, I was testing out sticker paper, and then some other sticker paper here for future stickers. I have my OC Akemi with some notes about the sticker paper and like the pros and the cons. Um, I had little sketches of Shu and Luca, so I could plan out a kind of we'll see in the future <laughs> but here's another page i believe oh, this was a ripped out page so technically this was from the 192 pages so it's originally from the sketchbook um but i needed to use a scrap piece because i ran out of paper at a convention and i needed to write out sold out signs so i just ripped one of the papers i had in my sketchbook which is happens to be this page so yeah here's luca some album stickers Wall new doodles done with alcohol markers and just a fine liner. So just a bunch of wall new from different eras. So this is the little illustration I was talking about that was done from the thumbnailing. So we have Shu and we have Luca based on Selene and Luca's little... I don't remember what it was. But basically it's like how they perish or something. So yeah, we have Shu and Luca. And we have a little sketch of Millie done with ballpoint pen and watercolor. On the back of here is just the bleed through from the wall new page. Selene so Tatsuki sketches. So she is another VTuber from Niji Sanji EN. So this is done with water based markers and a fine liner pen or a needle point pen. We have Sunny and Ike, which I don't like any of these sketches. And then we have Uki, Reimu, and Ike stickers here. A little quildron. Um, more Ike stickers done with water-based markers and ballpoint pen. We have some flower doodling just because I felt like I wanted to paint some flowers. And I actually really like this little page right here. Um, and then we have Alban with a little bear and a few more flowers here and a little sticker. Um, a few more. These ones are done with blue flowers I guess um yeah I actually like my orange ones a little bit better but this one was still fun to do uh Masaki sketches right here I know it's a bit probably a little bit harder to see but yeah and then these were swatches from 17 where they included like highlighter markers um as part of their what felt like kind of like a gotcha but there's like a brand new different colors that you could get but this is the swatch that I got but yeah here's just Masaki sketches who is my OC more of my OC Masaki, so kind of with a summer drink, him crying, practicing a little bit of more sadder expressions, and then him enjoying the drink. Um, this was done with gouache. Um, I initially tried using acrylic markers, but I was not liking it, so I decided to do this with gouache instead, and I painted over the acrylic marker, and this is just like a little screenshot I had from Genshin. We have my OC Masaki done in graphite, um, but I thought it looked a little bit too plain, so I added a watercolor wash to it. And I believe this is based off of a reference I found on Pinterest. Just quick hand studies, because I was feeling I was getting a little bit too rusty. So some of it a little bit more stylized right here, and then these are kind of following the reference a little bit more. Uh, Kind of acrylic marker, a sticker, my OC Akemi with water-based marker and... Or I think, is it water-based marker? I'm not too sure. It might be watercolor and then kind of pen on top. And then I did Alban, Ike, and Luca's eyes done with the same marker and watercolor as well. Alban done in gouache. Um, kind of like basing off those references that I found for this one of Masaki where they're kind of like embedded into leaves foliage and then a few doodles from a stream that I was watching so just little text from quotes that he said during the stream uh, so this was done for the dip pen just writing notes and practicing with it and then this was done for another zine illustration for planning and then here's a little album doodle little stickers Remu done with the dip pen after the testing 
me planning out my VTuber update. Gouache painting official. I still really like this one. I think it looks really pretty. Um, I kind of wish I changed this portion, but I think the intensity of the color looks really nice. More pencil doodles. So we have official here. I know it's probably gonna be very hard to see because my webcam hates picking up these lighter lines. And then I was kind of planning for my little animo or swirl fan art where I was trying to make all the animal boys into idols. I have to add Scaramouche, I think. Um, we'll see. We have Eki Evelyn done in gouache. This is still one of my favorite ones in here. Um, and then we have some sketches of Tinari. So I was doing a bunch of planning for him for I think an acrylic painting. And then underneath I have some Masaki sketches um, also for that painting potentially. But I didn't really like any of them so I stuck with Tinari instead. Few more sketches this is from wanu's birthday illustration so me drawing a few larkspurs and trying to figure out the composition and then over here i decided to paint the little uh cinema roll and miku collab with miku with her hair up super cute then we have wanu so wanu done with water-based markers and a fine liner this is during his birthday v live i just really like it, it looks really cute this one's my favorite uh, Kyo Kaneko, so he's another VTuber from Niji Sanji EN, done with water based markers. Um, yeah. Colorful spread. This was during their, I think this is during Aluna's debut stream. So I was watching Selene and Alban just kind of talk, and I was doodling during that time. I think these are cute. Here we have Aster Arcadia, so. Aster Doodles done with the same water-based markers as the Kyo one, but this is after he debuted. Um, and then we have some ballpoint pen sketches. We have Masaki, we have Alba, we have Selene. A little bit of planning for a illustration of Mona. And I don't know what these are here, but yeah. Then we have Masaki sketches done with ballpoint pen again. So I'm using orange and green. A little Hiro sketch from Ensemble Stars. I have the Niji Bro sketch that I did for that one illustration. So I did some brief planning and I'm basically covering up whatever the bleed through is here. So I have Selene or like, I guess, yeah, Niji Bro's here. So Selene, Shu, and Alban. Little shoe sticker and a plant sticker. Then we have Chong Yoon uh, marker drawings. So these were done with alcohol markers. We have Chong Yoon and Chong Yoon again. Uh, covered up the bleed through by painting a little bit of Masaki. He looks very strange here, but you know, it's kind of fun just to doodle. I think I did this on call with um, my friends because we usually have a weekly call. Um, and then I have these ones of Masaki saying that I want a sketch, but I hate all the sketches that I've done. And then Masaki crying because I don't draw him. Luca, I think I was watching one of Luca's streams saying that he's young. Um, yeah, just a bunch of planning for the gouache illustrations I did on this side. So we have Luca, Luca again. So this is from the Niji Sanji. I already forgot what it's called. It's basically the baseball uh, tournament. And then this is based off his mafia cover. Tinari sketches. So this is when I think he was either just announced or was already released, but I had a hard time drawing him or trying to figure out a color combination that worked um, for him. And then this is black and green ballpoint pen. Kale and Kale again, which is something I was gonna do for a series where I drew the same illustration with different mediums to see how it differs. So here's Kale. Masaki sketches done with orange and graphite. So yeah, these ones I was going to use for little emotes, and then these are just some normal sketches. <laughs> we have Bennett, so done with pencil crayon and graphite. And then we have Kazuha, same method, pencil crayon and graphite. We have Sukasa Suo from Ensemble Stars, who is one of my favorites. Um, so that's, that's these sketches. A little bit more of Sukasa, and then a little bit of painting, or planning for a painting done in watercolor. I actually really like this one, it's still very cute. 
Um, and I love his outfit. His knight's uniform is very cute. So I did some thumbnailing right here. Just to plan it out a little bit. Masaki painting. He kind of looks like Suha a little bit. Yeah, done with gouache. My brain was just very empty and I just wanted to cover up the page. I think kind of looks really off. Uh, Wanu doodles. I still really like these two. They're very cute. And same with this one. But yeah, just really quick ones. Uh, planning for Masaki if, his, if he was in Genshin Impact. So planning a bit of his outfit. I did a little bit of research on looking at how the folds and how the fabric drapes. Making sure I have the right side covering each side. So that's Masaki. More Masaki doodles. So him in a kind of like a jersey. Or not a jersey. Kind of like tracksuit kind of jacket. Kind of a hoodie. Normal outfit. The bag. It's him leaning on it. Him crouching. And then mask with a bunch of flowers. I still really like this one. So maybe I'll revisit it. And maybe do a watercolor painting or something. Or digital drawing. More Masaki doodles right here. With the mask again. Giant scarf. Just him tying his apron back. Do we have Masaki with the bag done with graphite and then watercolor on top and then a little bit of ballpoint pen to kind of darken up some of those lines. Hiro sketches, just because I was thinking about Hiro a lot, because probably because I'm playing Ensemble Stars. Uh, this was from the Wing Fox lesson, so I was planning out a composition for the background drawings and stuff. Also, this was for, I think, planning out making my Masaki doll because I wasn't sure what kind of eye shape I wanted to give him, so yeah. Next up, more marker doodles. So we have Pomu Rain Puff. So I picked a few colors and decided to do just markers, just water-based markers basically for sketching. Uh, we have June from his Limbo music video. So I actually did two of them right here. I didn't finish them because I was thinking I was going to paint them, but I didn't. And then this was planning for zines as like again another zine project and then here is alira done with a similar method to pomus this one's really cute i think all of these are and we also have finana i still really like this one a lot so finana same method water-based markers um and then we started inktober on here um here i actually have sino sketches planning for that composition for my digital Sino piece that I'd done on the iPad. But I covered it up with a bunch of Milli, um, what is it called? Sketches on post-it notes and my Pomodachi plush. Let me go grab it actually. Yeah, Pomodachi plush. Um, this is like my first time sewing, so he's a little janky. Um, maybe I'll redo it, we'll see. I, I might keep him like the way he is, but first time sewing, so yeah, based off of this. And then I have some Millie sketches for a painting I wanted to do of Millie or potentially shoe. So I was planning that out. But then under here, I also have planning for the Jumpty Dumpty plush that I made as well. So Inktober starting here. And I was thinking Inktober was going to help push me to finish the sketchbook because I only had a few more pages compared to the rest. So yeah, I decided to do Niji Sanji for each day. Um, or Niji Sanji En for each day. So starting with day one, we have Finana. Day two, we have Alira. Day three, we have Pomu. Day four, we have Petra. Day five, we have Selene. And then I did some Wanu doodles because he looked very cute in the outfit. These were done with a Muji pen. These ones were done with water-based markers and a needlepoint pen. Um, I did more planning for, I think, the Jumpty Dumpty, or it's for Masaki. And then we have day six is Rosemi. Day seven is Anna. You can see I ran out of time for both Anna and Nina. So day eight is Nina. Uh, day nine is Millie. I actually really like this one. I think the color scheme is very cute, and I like how I did her eyes and her face. Uh, day ten is Rimu, which I also really like this one. Masaki doodles, because I was in a sketching mood that day. Uh, planning for Kaya's illustration. So once again, I put a sticky note here because I ran out of space for planning. So I was trying to plan out vampire outfits for him and then trying to figure out how it would look like if he was crawling out of a 
like a square space kind of thing, like a, either a screen or just like a box or something. And I landed with something like this, and then I have a little bit of an outfit down here. Next up we have Masaki sketches. So playing around with the markers once again, putting a little bit of text. These are very derpy by the way. I can tell these, my brain was off when I did these. Look at that face. Uh, day 11, we have Mista. Day 12, we have Ike. Oh, this one's sticky for some reason. Uh, we have day 13, which is Shu. I have some Milu poses here um, for that digital illustration that I did on Ibis Paint. And then we have day... Day 29 for Shu for this one which is out of order, but I decided to place this one in because I thought maybe I would put more effort into this Inktober piece. I really like this one though. I think she looks really cool here. And I did this with um, a fine liner and alcohol markers. Day 14 is Luca. Day 15 is Vox. I wish I redid Voxes and Lucas. <laughs> we have an Alira painting. I don't really like this one. I think I made her hair too big and I scrunched up her face too much, but... Like I said, I want to do a watercolor painting of this one potentially, or just like of Alira in general. She has very soft colors. Uh, day 16, Sunny. Day 17, Yugo. Uh, we have Eki Evelyn for day... This one says day 29. I don't know if that's correct because I swear Shu says day 29. It's either 29 or 30 or something like that. We have Candace right here. Or maybe Shoes was day 28. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, I think shoes is day 28. Day 29 is Eki. Um, yeah, we have Candace sketches for thumbnailing. Day 18 is Alban. Day 19 is Uki. And I did day 20 is Fulgur. And I tried to make them match a little bit since they are side by side. And I, I know a lot of people like Cyborg. Uh, day 21, Kyo. Day 22 is Maria. Uh, Masaki sketches for just winter feeling. I think this is when it started to really snow. So in October. I don't realize how far his eyes are. Uh, day 23 is Aster. Day 24 is Aya. Kind of wish I redid Aya. Day 25 is Ren. Day 26 is Scarla. Uh, Nahida thumbnailing right here. For the Nahida one. And then this is day... Day 31. So I did Uki as the last day. Day 31. Because his song was released. We have day 27 as... Anna. As kind of like a little redemption thing. And then we have day 30. Which is Yugo. Based on his song as well. On the back of this, we have just some sketches of the Halloween illustration I did for Maseki with the skull. So just a little bit of brief planning. I have some stickers and a little thing from their Japanese album, like 17's Japanese album. And this is just a bunch of thumbnailing for something. Oh, I think I was trying to plan out that one Ike video. I ended up drawing him like in front of a window, being backlit, eating toast. Um, but I had some other ones, like I was going to draw him with the um, other members as Niji puppets. And then I had him holding the moon, potentially. Maybe doing like a crown type version, like a king. And then I had one with the Niji puppets again. Uh, the toast version down here. So, yeah. Uh, Tinari sketches done with water-based markers. Trying to practice a little bit of poses with the bow. We have We have Nilu, which I still really like these ones for like more of the color scheme rather than the body and the pose and stuff. But yeah, done with water base markers. Um, Selene doodling right here. I was gonna do this for a video, but she turned out a lot derpier. But this is done with alcohol markers. And I think the alcohol markers work really well on this paper. I think it looks really pretty. So yeah, Selene. Based on that one, I think it's like a convenience store collaboration. There's like a few of them with these kind of beautiful white and teal outfits. It's really cute. Uh, Wanu to cover up the bleed through. So just like a little Polaroid of him and two little chibis down here. And then we have some doodles, graphite doodles of Dogyam and Wanu. Wanu. 
more Wanu sketches. Or I guess Wanu and Dogyam. They have very... They were like hanging out a lot in Japan. So they have a lot of uh, cute pictures together. So we have him in the beret and the big glasses. Um, I think he was drinking or something like that. I think this is also from just a really cute kind of sweater vest kind of outfit. And then Wanu with the beanie. So we have a few sketches of Ike and Albin. I was trying to draw them from memory. So they kind of look a little bit off. This one was from To the Moon or Finding Paradise, I think. I think it's Finding Paradise. I was watching while drawing these ones. And then just random Ike ones. Masaki Doodle to finish the, the pages. And at this point, I only have a few pages left, but I was getting very frustrated with the sketchbook. So yeah, I only like this one out of all of them. And maybe the one down here, which is very embarrassed. Um, more album sketches and Ike again. I didn't realize how big his head was. Uh, yeah, similar from the teal outfits, I think. And then Alban once again, watching him play... I don't know which game it was. It's a horror game I was watching him play. Sunny sketches. Actually, these are some of my favorites. I'll definitely include some close-ups of these. So I usually struggle to draw Sunny a lot, but I feel like this method of sketching him actually helped me so i started off with pencil crayon really light so i started off with the yellow and then i threw in the graphite and then i used a little bit of the water-based markers to do the cooler tones and then i used the yellow to do the rest of the accent and his hair i actually really like these ones so we have the sunny risco more of sunny similar method so him with a gigantic green onion or a negi and then him pulling the glove him trying to knee somebody Um, flower doodling right here. Masaki. I want to revisit the mask concept. I really like it. I think it will fit him quite a bit. So similar method. Sketched with the yellow. Finished up with the graphite. Alban Knox doodles. So just quick ones. Him kind of on the ground kneeling. And then this one looks like he's swinging or hanging from something. I didn't really like the face on either of them. So, hmm. Doodles of Wanu. Uh, very derpy, actually, that I'm looking at them. So that one's the Muji pen and some water-based markers. I only really like this one. But yeah, just some quick doodling. Millie Parfait, so from Neiji Sanji E.N. Reimu from the same kind of little teal and white outfits. Uh, and then we're almost at the end. So here is Akemi kind of planning for the last page. Him being sacrificed to the ink bleed through. It says ready for the bleed through. So yeah, it's just him saluting. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And the last one you guys would have saw me do a video on. I don't, like, I'm not really fond of this one. And the markers did not blend very well on this particular paper. A little bit more patchier than usual. But yeah, this is the end of the sketchbook. Now, usually at the back of the sketchbook, I actually have miscellaneous stickers or, like, scrap pieces of paper back here. I think you guys have seen these drawings before, actually, too, from last time's sketchbook. So here's Alban and Rosemi. So I did these... Actually, did you guys see these? I'm not too sure. So I did these as like commission samples from Anime Fawn and Odafest. So I'm actually not sure if you guys have seen these, but yeah. These were the little samples that I did. I'm going to make new samples for next year. So maybe I'll put these into the sketchbook or something as a keepsake. But yeah, just commission samples. And then we have stickers. So I got these from Genro from Instagram and Twitter, I believe. They're selling like uh, Noctics and... I think it's just, or maybe it's just Noctic charms. I don't really remember. I think it's Noctics and uh, Luxium charms. I think I got Albin Ike, I think. So little stickers. These are like other stickers that I'd made just to do testing. So I have some giant venti ones, random post-it note, more venti, and then just scraps of defects of stickers that I have. But I like using them to paste things into my sketchbook or to cover up some bleed through. So that's why I have them. I'll move these to my new sketchbook. But yeah, that is the end of this sketchbook. So this is eight to nine months of just random doodling and my brain being probably in a bad space for sketching traditionally. Um, but yeah, let's talk about new sketchbooks. So let me grab them. Because I have a few choices that I can use. Okay, well, okay. Um... 
So I have these ones. And this one. So these ones are my sketchbooks. Or notebooks. It's basically the same format as the Epiphylum one. Which is... Okay, so... Uh, I do have these ones. All of them have white bands. I know some people have the yellow banded version, but these ones all have white bands on them. I'm kind of leaning towards these two. Um, this one more so, just because I use this actually for the anime fawn and Odafest as the test thing. I think it would be nice to use this one just to get it out of the way. That or I can save it for next year, just in case if I do get into any conventions. But I'm gravitating towards this one. I also do like the colors of this one. It's not my most favorite design, but I do like the lighter aesthetic and the colors. I think it looks quite pretty. Um, I could use this one as well, but I think I might save this for a sample for the future, so I don't want to draw on it quite yet. So I'm kind of leaning towards these two. Um, my other choice is this one, which I've shown in the past as well. It's a sketchbook. I think it's A5 as well. It's a little bit bigger. Okay, let's do that. Because uh, the thing is, I would love to use this sketchbook because I know I like the paper type. It's a little bit of thicker paper and it's quite smooth. And it's not as many pages as the notebook that I have. But because I'm not in a great sketching mindset recently, I don't know if I want to sacrifice this book to my terrible doodles. So similar to the rest, this is a... Well, this one's actually a PU leather, I think. So it has a little bit of a different texture. It's really nice color. Um, yeah, this one's really pretty. It has a nice black band. Kind of like the little closing strap thing. So I have these ones just in case. And I was looking at previous sketchbooks that I had that were of similar quality to this one because I believe they ordered together in batches and they're friends. So this has similar quality. So you can see that in this one. I believe it's this one. Let me see. So water marker or water-based markers look great in this sketchbook. Um, painting looks great in the sketchbook too. I can really layer up the colors and stuff and it has a nice texture. I can use ink. Uh, graphite also looks great, which I was really, really like. Um, gouache looks great in here too. So maybe I'll gravitate towards using... Uh, this one. We'll see. I'll make up my mind by Monday and you guys will get a little um, first page once again. This one I got a commission of. That's the key. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll look at the first page for this one. Um, and this one's of the same quality as well. Did Masaki with the, the flowers. So yeah, water... Whoopsies. Like punched the mic. Uh, Water-based markers look great. Graphite. Doodling kind of things in here. It's really smooth too, so um, I think pencil looks great in here. Like this. This pencil looks good. And it's also more of a... I don't know what you consider like a, a true white compared to the notebook colors. The notebook colors are definitely more like um, warmer in tone, so yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's sketchbook tour. I'll bring you guys along with me while I do the um, other... Or I'll bring you guys along when I do the front cover of my new sketchbook. And I'm, yeah, I'm kind of leaning more towards probably these two, one or the other. So we'll see on Monday which one I end up choosing. I feel like I might try to push myself to do more um, finished pieces or put more effort into the sketchbook if I choose this one. This one's probably a similar energy than to this one, which is I kind of mangled it a bit, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!